Hey guys, in this video I'll explain how to pull in data from Stripe or other APIs. Say you want to show the list of customers from Stripe in the table component. There are two options as to how you can go about it. The first option is to use our pre-built Stripe component. In that case, you don't have to configure their API request, as it's been done on our side. The second option is creating the API queries from scratch. For that, select the new REST API resource and name it. Now we need to specify the base URL and other credentials. In our case, we turn to Stripe documentation for that. Go to the introduction page and copy and paste the base URL. To set authentication, we need to specify the authorization bearer token that you can find in your Stripe account. We choose the authentication method, in our case it's the API key, and we paste the bearer token credentials in the corresponding fields. Select send as a header and we've connected a new REST API resource. As for pagination, in JET you can set page offset and cursor pagination. Stripe allows us to use only the cursor one, so we'll go with that. I'll show how to set it later in the video. Now, to configure the request, select Make an HTTP request from the collection dropdown. Good, we're in the API builder. We want to pull in customers, so we copy and paste the get list endpoint. To check what's returned, just press this send a query button. To transform this data, use our transformation feature. Now, let's get back to pagination. Let's select the cursor pagination as it's the only one supported in Stripe. To proceed further, we need to specify the limit starting after and ending before parameters. Go to the query parameters, paste the keys and select the values from the drop-down menu. After that, specify the default values for the starting after and ending before parameters. We can get those values from the response tab. Give it a try and we get the next portion of our data. And this was the second option of getting the list of customers from Stripe. You are not limited to the pre-built integrations though and can connect pretty much any resource using REST API. Just follow the same process.